Hey. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. Hey, welcome to Mandy and Friends. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad y'all are here. Oh, my goodness. What a gorgeous weekend this was in Oregon. It's like 85 degrees, something crazy like that, and everyone's playing in the leaves. It's so fun. It's like a magical experience. But I want to know what Talon was up to this weekend, my main man, Tal. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, hey, Bo. Hey, what's I'm up? Good. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what'd you do this weekend? Well, my mom came to visit this weekend. Oh, that's nice. It's not that's a cool. Joke. She really did. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we went to the pumpkin patch. We Aww. went on a bike ride to McMinimins, and then we went to the coast. Oh, fun. You know, we went to Indian Beach. Now wait a second. You um, have not lived here this long, that long. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. And so why, why would you want to take your mom to one of the most gorgeous places on earth? <laughs> well, because it's the most <laughs> gorgeous places on earth, and we absolutely love the Oregon oh, coast. Oh, gotcha. So but what one was thing it? we've discovered about the Oregon coast is that no matter what you, the time of the year it is, uh -huh. your our kids love to get wet in the water. Oh, right. It doesn't matter if it's four degrees raining. They want to play in the water. Yes, this is true. It's insane. Do you, do you understand that? Yes. From the local so I, I when we it. went to the beach just last week, not this last week, but a week ago with you guys, we went to the kite festival. Yeah. And it was like just a week ago. That's what I'm talking about. It was yeah. like 58 degrees, raining, cloudy, and the kids were having the best time in the ocean, and it was insane. Yeah, getting hypothermia and everything. Yeah, it's so cool. fun. But, I mean, I totally used thing. to do that as a child as well, and it's, it's a good time. It's a good time. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good to know that you had a good time with your mom. Oh, and man. That you're acclimating to Oregon well. And oh, totally, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd go live on the coast if I wasn't worried about the earthquake taking right. out the coast, you know. Absolutely. I, I always <laughs> think about that, too. My dad actually was thinking about moving to Seaside one day. Like, he's like, we're thinking about moving to Seaside. I'm like, yeah. that sucks. <laughs> that's that, and that's all I had to say. I was just like, earthquake. <laughs> earthquake. Mm. Uh, well, it's worth the risk. speaking of earthquakes, I've Get got two edge. guys on the show today that have made earthquakes of their own. <laughs> that sounds interesting, but it's like the, the waves and social their social surroundings earthquakes. So anyway, today on the show, I have Dale, Dale Culver from the Man Card Show and our representative in the state of Oregon, District 24, Ron, 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 Ron. no, no, no. That was my echo. Did you guys get that? Yeah? Okay, anyway. Welcome to the show. Yay! Woohoo! Glad to be here. Nice. Did you like my my echo? I'm not sure about doing? the earthquake. The echo yeah, was great. Yeah, I realized as I was saying that it it's sounded like, kind of weird. Boom, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was good though. Hi, how are you? I'm swell. Swell. That's yeah. A good word. I like that word. Well, thank hey, you. just wanted to let you the know first phones. of all that this is the emergency phone. If someone calls it, I have to answer. Yes. Okay. We never know when that happens. Could happen at any moment. Shouldn't it be red? Ring. Um, Ring. No, it's not. It's not ringing right now. No, <laughs> Talon, stop. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Dale. Yes. I want to know all about your podcast, The Man Card, and why. First of all, what is with the name? Why is it called that? The podcast. The man card. <laughs> the podcast, the man so, card. So uh, we have a, a buddy of mine, uh, Jim Ramos, started this ministry called The Great Hunt for God. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing is we did youth ministry for years, and we realized that the problem with kids is you most likely the dad. There is no dad or not engaged dad. Mm -hmm. And so we start, he started this uh, five, six years ago. Okay. And uh, with that, we, um, we thought, well, let's do a podcast so we can reach more people. Okay, because I'm going to be honest, that description was the farthest thing from my mind when you hear the man card. Yeah, so. <laughs> I automatically assume, like, we're going to talk about beer and chicks and cars. Yeah. But that's not, well, no. so what do you talk about? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> no, we actually talk about men leading their homes okay. and leading in their communities. Nice. And I think that uh, we have too many guys that are completely disengaged and checked out from their families. And so... Thinking about... Eight, Chicks, Chicks beer, and beer, and, and cars. cars. No. <laughs> and and uh, if we, we, we believe that 80% of the world's problems originate from men, mm. and those problems can be solved with men. Wow. So they are the solution and the problem, mind blown. Yes. And so we do this podcast talking to guys, and we get experts on our show to talk about 
all kinds of different That's things amazing. where men are struggling and how they can overcome those things. That's amazing. Yeah. So um, what is the most probably memorable person you've had? Um, yeah. Oh, Ron Noble. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, by far. It was nice. so impactful. Yeah. Changed my life. Yeah, that was good. I love that he's sitting right here and you're like, um, no. No, we, uh, a while back we did but a, really, we did a no. podcast with uh, Wes Stafford. Okay. He started the, um, the um, God, I'm just, my brain's going away now. That's okay. Um, we can talk Compassion about International. Oh, yeah, uh huh. Okay, so he um, just listened to his story about it wrecks him to know that there's kids that are suffering and uh, they don't have most of the things we have. Right. And so he just went on a crusade to go and help those kids. Nice. And so just listening to him, he's lighting a fire under men's pants to get up and do something. Do something. Yeah. That's so good. So, so then what was probably one of your funniest interviews like if you were to say to guys out there right now who want to listen to your podcast but they don't oh, really yeah. want to be hit hard with so heavy stuff we did a podcast <laughs> with a young guy okay who um we'll rename we'll leave him nameless he uh oh, okay. he says he doesn't ever want to have kids and and all this and that and he's talking about life mm -hmm. and what we can glean from it and and things that he can teach us and really we're going we just kind of we kind of unloaded on him mm. um, that he really has no platform to talk about that. <laughs> well, how old was he? Very twenties. Okay. And like, this is how life is. Gotcha. And you're going, man, you have no clue. Yeah. You have some kids, and then yeah, it all changes. You think you know everything, but you don't. So how many kids do both of you 12. have? Oh, 12. Yeah, he's got, I think, 10 of them. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. I have four. There's no line on this show, mister. <laughs> I've got four. Yeah. Okay. But I've moved on because I've got six grandkids as well. Oh, yes. awesome. That's yeah. awesome. We have three daughters, and we just adopted our nephews, five. Okay. So, so five. Wait, sorry. Four. You four. said, four. Oh, oh, he said, who is five. Who but is five. But it blended, yes. and I heard, 73. makes five, something like yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. That's uh -huh. awesome. And I have three children. Yeah. That I created in my womb. Wow. Um, with help. Mm. So, you know how it works. No. Anyway, um, Talon knows. <laughs> <laughs> Talon has um, four kids with five, a fifth on the way. Yeah. So yeah. clearly, I haven't figured it out. Oh, right. No. Yeah. Not just, yet. They're I'm just still going. Still going, I guess. That's awesome. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah. So, um, so you don't talk about beer, chicks, and cars, but we do talk it about chicks fun... and how okay. if men will look at their own chick, that will really help their marriage and awesome. it will help uh, against uh, sex trade. Nice. Mm -hmm. Amen, brother. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. So. Well, so then how can people hear about? It's the Man Card Podcast. You can find it on every podcasting format, oh, iTunes, okay. Stitcher, That's Spotify. Awesome. It's all over the place. The Man Card. And it was a couple of years ago. I knew nothing about podcasting. And, and Jim, my boss, said, yeah. hey, figure out how to podcast. and <laughs> Do it. So now we're, we're actually helping people and teaching them how to podcast. That's so cool. So it's pretty legit. And so... Ron, you were yes, on his podcast. I was. That's great. What did you talk about? Influence. Okay. Actually, um, I've I've known Dale and Jim for quite a while, and have watched this ministry grow, and mm -hmm. it's just an amazing thing to reach out to men and help them be the fathers, the husbands they need to be. Yeah. Um, but then I talked about influence and what happens when you understand it's not a positional thing. It's 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 a matter of understanding that people are watching mm. from your own kids. To those around you, your friends, yeah, uh, people watch, yeah, and you have a great impact if you just understand that people are watching a great impact on those around you. Right, every day, it's insane. Did you guys see that one video of? I just watched it yesterday. It started going around Facebook, of this lady who claimed that this young child sexually harassed her um, in this drugstore mm -hmm. in New York City. And she she was on the, everyone of course now has phones, right? We're all mm -hmm. watching everything. And it's just too bad because it's, it just painted such a bad picture for the women who are actually sexually harassed mm -hmm. because they had footage. This is a convenience store. This is like a Circle K kind of thing. And she, what had happened in this footage, she had leaned over the counter to buy like cigarettes or something. And this kid was with his mom and his backpack brushed up against her butt mm. and she was like <gasps> and 
just went off on the poor child and then called the police. I was like, this, <laughs> this, this yeah. child sexually harassed me. And oh, it was such a thing. And what makes me sad, like obviously she needs her own special help. But what makes me sad too is that it, it just paints this light of like, well, now we can't really trust women when they just go off the rail like that. Like, how are we supposed to trust anyone? And this, anyway. Really, it's how just do we? This, and I just was reminded, <laughs> how do we? Um, but I was reminded of the influence. Like, this woman doesn't even know that she's influencing people exactly. when, she, when she's on there just, mm -hmm. like, going off the rails. But um, I want to talk about what you do right now. Mm -hmm. You are in the, what exactly do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you You know, do? it's not that, that uncommon of a question. So, first of all, your title is? I'm a state representative, okay. which means I represent a small district in the state, mm -hmm. about 70,000 people, to Salem okay. as in the House of Representatives. Most of the confusion says, I've been asked if I've met the president yet. Mm. That's a different government. That's federal government. That's uh, Suzanne Bonamici is our congresswoman for this area. For okay. That. But I'm, it's local, so I drive to Salem when we're in session. And actually, I drive to Salem two or three times a week for other things, even when we're not in session. Mm. Staying busy with uh, task forces, uh, work groups, uh, meeting with constituents, meeting with other people uh, who have a, an interest in what goes on in our state mm -hmm. and a concern. I think, and the reason why I, want, I wanted to touch on that was because I, I've been seeing a lot of commercials and a lot of hype and a lot of like fun YouTube videos and Instagrams and Taylor Swift being like, yeah, go out and vote and all this stuff and, and voting. And, but it is so daunting. Voting is daunting now because there's so many people to vote for. And if you legitimately don't know what this person is going to do once they get to office, how are you supposed to vote? Like, I, <laughs> I'm going to reveal something right the now. The photo. You guys ready for this? Gotta have a good photo. I don't I'm know. I'm 33 years old, and I've never voted. Oh. I know, Talon's like throwing up over there, and oh. almost. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know, everyone, I feel, I feel, I feel mixed, mixed emotions, especially <laughs> being a woman, and like, w the, what the suffragettes went through to get me a vote, and all this stuff, but I get too overwhelmed. I, it's so overwhelming. Because I, if I make the wrong decision or something, and my vote counts, that's what, every, that's what everyone tells me, it's like you have to educate yourself mm -hmm. so much to feel good about your vote. Yes. And I don't have time to educate myself about I, it. I, I get to, I'm totally surprised because you are, you are connected in the community. I know. You have a passion for certain things, and you definitely have an opinion on how things should be. I suppose. Which is good. Um, so if, if you don't know, yeah, that, that, that actually is a pretty big statement. People live by headlines, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're not the type of person that wants to do that. So it does take a little bit of work to dig down and figure out what people mean, what they stand for. Yeah. It's too easy to label somebody with an R or an D, and for my friend Sal, or an I as an independent. Mm -hmm. But um, when really nobody stays, if there's a spectrum of politics, nobody stays at one place. You yeah. give me a subject, and someone who is conservative may move moderate. Somebody who's liberal may move more conservative, depending on the subject. Right. Um, which is what I love being in the state legislature because I work across the aisle with people that are pretty surprised when we're working together. Mm. Um, because the topic really, the problem is not a partisan top a problem. The problem is generally something that we need to address. The partisanship comes with how you approach the problem. Mm -hmm. And you need to engage people to figure out what the best solution. Right. And so that's why when I, when I met you first at the Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. it, it was the first time in my life where I felt like, oh, I can, I can vote for, and I'm not saying I'm voting for Ron, no, I'm not saying you that. You can say I that can't. if you want. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I'm <laughs> not saying that. Because I honestly don't know if I'm going to have the time to go vote. I'm not saying you anything. You You're serious. My point. Today is the last day to register <laughs> to okay. vote yeah. in this election. I am registered. That's the funny thing, too, yes. is that I'm registered. Okay, but, nice. But, oh, as an independent, mm -hmm. um, but uh, my point in saying this is that, and I know Ken Moore, too, yeah. who is running against you, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and it's the first time in my life where I'm like, actually somewhat connected to you guys like i i actually know you and ken mm -hmm. we're like oh i can like actually sit down with these humans and ask them questions and this is this it makes it so much more real and i think that's what people often 
glaze over is that, especially in community government, is that you actually can go to talks that you put on and, and, and shake hands with you and meet you and ask questions and stuff like that. But again, it takes time and It takes time, but you're, you are absolutely right. I've had <laughs> people actually be surprised. So I said, well, let's go have a cup of coffee and talk about it. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and, and it's not, it's a small town. That's what we do. Um, Ken and I have a lot of mutual friends. Mm -hmm. um, and just the ability to interact with people, that's, that's how we get our job done. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. So um, let's see. We have time for a couple more questions. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. What? The, sorry, we're totally bunny trailing here. We can do that. Um, favorite childhood actor? Childhood mm. actor. No. I will start. Mm. Um, I really loved Star Wars growing up. So um, mm. Han Solo, Harrison Ford was a favorite of mine, actor, and then actress Sigourney Weaver because my mom raised me on the Alien movies and she's an amazing uh, female lead. <laughs> so that's childhood. And then now now that I'm a grown up, I know, sorry, we took a total turn, but it shows part of your character. This is why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, as a grown up, I really love Chris Pratt in like all of the new like Guardians of the Galaxy and everything he's done in Parks and Rec. And then um, Jennifer, I really like Jennifer Lawrence too. If you guys know who she is, yeah, she's great. Mm -hmm. Do you? Are you thinking of Alyssa Milano? I think. Back what was in, she in? Seriously. Oh my goodness. No, uh, no, no. I, that sounds familiar. Uh, who's the boss? She and who's the boss? Back in the day. Okay. Yeah. Any and um, anything with like um, Bruce Lee. Mr. Bruce Word. Lee, Enter and, the Dragon. and uh, Chuck Norris, yes. and John yes. Wayne. Love Chuck Norris. Yes, yes. I love. Oh, my dad yeah. raised me on John Wayne. John Wayne, baby. Yeah. I was not old enough hey, to remember Reagan. Hey, yeah, there, little buddy. Hey. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> uh huh. Those are some of mine. Any yeah. any current? Current. Yeah. Like right now, you're like, oh, they're in that movie. I want to see that. I know that. I've I've been told that my behaviors have um, mimicked that of Jack Black. Oh, I love Jack Black. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, uh, I like I like the funny guys. So. Totes. Totes. Yeah. Totes perf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> perf. But you guys are talking about like my teen years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, yeah, which would have been black and white. <laughs> well, childhood, yeah. They, I remember when they first started talking, uh, getting voice. Yeah. You know, music. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait. Charlie yeah. Chaplin, then. They have one of my favorites. No. Wow. You age very well. Silent <laughs> films. <laughs> you know, back in the day, TV was mostly westerns. Yeah. Yes. Buddy. And it'd be a Clint Eastwood. Yes. You know. I forgot Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Uh, James Garner. Yeah. Some of those. They were, they were yeah. easy to follow when I, was, when I was little. Any ladies? Any leading ladies? You know, there weren't very many leading ladies. There weren't too many leading ladies. It's just the ladies that You're acted with Clint or. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Uh, um, it's true. Yeah. Anyone nowadays? Oh, well, nowadays, you know, having a career in law enforcement, mm. um, I would pick like a Jason Stratham. Oh, yeah. Uh, something like that. Just, yeah. it, it's kind of like training day, you know? Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't watch a whole lot of movies and TV now. What? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, don't I will make TV sure to watch either. this though. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Good. He's out bucking hay all the yeah. time. Yeah. You know, Hallmark's on at our house once in a while. <laughs> oh and yeah. It, so I go do something else. My sister-in-law, um, Joelle, <laughs> she's obsessed with Christmas, hmm. and so the Hallmark Channel is a. It's going. It's always. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, she even posted on Facebook this picture of a, a Christmas T-shirt, and it's like let. Bake pie, drink hot cocoa, and watch Hallmark all day long. And she's like, I want this t-shirt. Anyway, well, you guys, got we going. are going to do something that is super important. Drink okay. A spot with tea. Sure. Yeah. This is an important competition, okay? That we are going to figure out. And the like, winner gets is, the winner gets a high five mm. from not only me. There we go. But from Talon and Asher. Legit. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do you want to hear what the competition is? I have no idea. Please do tell. We are going tell. to, you are going to close your eyes. Because I, I was going to bring blindfolds, but I was like, nah, to whatever. They'll close their eyes. Because you are trustworthy men. 
Right. And you are not going to cheat. Right. You're going to taste test chips and guess which ones they are. And I will give you the list so you're, you're not just like blindly tasting them, okay? And then I will keep score. Can you airdrop okay. the list to us? So we have chip. So, Mystery bag. So we're trustworthy, but you're also trustworthy. She could uh, lie. Yeah. You already yeah. took some very, samples out of there. They're open. Actually, I'm going to be honest with you. You did I can't sample. Eat, I, I can't eat corn. Uh, yeah. I'm allergic to it. Wow. Um, but I will eat the potato chips when we're done. Or that's your prize. You get all the chips. There you go. Okay. So our four options are Lay's sour cream. Sour cream Lay's uh, cheddar and onions. <laughs> Lay's Lime. Lime, ooh. Uh, Doritos Cool Ranch mm. and Doritos Cheddar. And then Better. there's a bonus chip. I'm not even going to say what it might be. A fifth chip? If you Could get be Takis, it, Cheetos. If you get it, you sweep. Like, <laughs> uh. even if you're losing, but you get this chip, you win the whole thing. All right, my friends. You guys right. ready? Y'all ready for this? We are starving. Okay, good. It's I'm time to oh, close your too. eyes, and I will give you each yeah. a chip. Close your eyes. Okay, I'm not going to feed you the chip. Hold out your hand. <laughs> Hold out your hand. Dig in deep. I got all four right at the top. This is perfect. This is a lot of work for me. Okay, I'm okay. giving okay. you the chip. This is a lot mm -hmm. of work. So it's giving, a Doritos. Giving you a chip. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now eat the chip. Mm -hmm. Kind of a Dorito. Okay, shape. we don't have enough time, dude. You gotta, you gotta eat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to count to three and you will say it at the same time mm -hmm. what you think. Mm. Okay, one, two, three. What do you think? Cheddar. Dorito, cheddar thingy. Cheddar. Do you say cheddar? Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. I don't know. Can we open our eyes in between? I'm not going to say if you're right or wrong. Oh, <laughs> you just cheated. You just saw what it is. I didn't see it. No, no I, I saw you wrong. Yeah, oh, oh you got another one? They all look the same. No. Oh, you didn't eat it all? Yeah, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm saving my palate. Okay. Mm. Yes, do you need to drink water now, Dale? Dude. No. You good? No, okay. I got this. Okay, so no people. I'm pretty sophisticated. <laughs> okay. Lays. Eat. Mmm. Ron, mm. hand it back to me before you look at it again. Mm. Yeah, there you go. That was my favorite. Okay. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Cool Ranch. Cool ranch. Uh, I think Ron is uh, like holding back so that you will say it before him so that no. he can copy you. No. I'll say it first next time. Okay. Okay, back to nap time. Okay, nap time. <laughs> Here's our next chip. Mm -hmm. You guys, you're doing a really good job. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Eat your oh. chip. Mm. Ron is not eating his full chip. Mm. You can give it back to me. Oh, there you go. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is it the sour cream and onion or the lime? Really? Lime. Oh, okay. I'm gonna you go thought I was that. holding back last time. I went <laughs> in and just blurted it out. Lime lay. All right, let's see. I don't know. <laughs> You gotta cleanse the palate in between for I sure. Do. Otherwise, you might mess up. Yeah, how hard it is for high. me. Close my eyes. <laughs> good, good job. Oh, I might fall great. off the chair snoring. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Just oh, you're so tired. Yeah. I'm or just... am I so boring? No, I get Aww. up at five every morning to get yoked. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hand out. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> to get yoked. There we go. To get yoked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Eat your oh, chip. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Is that the lime? <laughs> No. Sour cream and onion. Mm. Sour cream? No. Sour cream and onion. Okay. Maybe next time I shouldn't okay. tell you. Yeah, there. when it's the last two. You guys both, we're 100%, aren't you we? both got 100%. So bonus round. We bonus, eat chips. This is why I did the bonus round. I don't round. eat chips. You don't eat chips? I think I'm next, vegetarian. <laughs> next time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just eat, eat chips. Okay. <laughs> Whoever gets this wins it all. Mm. Hand out. Ooh. I dropped it. Ah. Don't look. I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> what could it possibly be? And you have to get the whole thing 100% Gross. right. Gross. <laughs> ah. All right. These... These are what's in the bowl that I don't choose from. <laughs> <laughs> you can open your eyes. You both have. Yeah. Talkies. They're like talkies. Ron. 
I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Okay. I, have, I can look what? at it and I don't know what you it is. You got that part right. Do you know what flavor? I didn't know there was more than one flavor of Takis. It's oh, spicy yeah. lime fish. <gasps> Dale. Can we do a close? There we go. Dale, good job. Nitro, but look at that. Habanero with lime. Nice. There you go. Oh, it did high have lime. Five, sir. Oh, sophisticated. Oh, Yay, and uh, your your high fives from Asher and Talon are, are coming up. Okay. Wow. Have you guys been in any kind of competition, like a food competition before? No. Yes. Oh, do tell. We have time. I won a pie eating contest in junior high school. Oh, yes. what? Dude. Wow. Yes, I did. Was it like the most? Yes. Eat the most pie? Yes. Wow. Um, what I can do that. <laughs> I don't know what kind. They're all cream pies, of course. Oh, cream pie. Without a fork. Just, mm -hmm. you know, bend over. Oh. Junior high school. Dang. I can say, though, I've never won a food cost test since then. Nice. Not today either. No, I didn't. Uh, as a youth pastor, though, for many years, I would do food things all the time. Okay. And so, like, chugging chocolate syrup, like a whole thing of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. those kids don't eat chocolate syrup anymore. Yeah, that and sounds chugging oh. eggnog, like oh. a quart of it. Yeah. You guys. Hey, you have a phone call. Oh my gosh, there's a. My phone is ringing. It's that lady. Hello. Oh, hello. Yes, this is yes. the president. Hello. Oh my. Oh goodness. Yes. Yes, right away. Absolutely. No. Of course not. Okay. Goodbye. Oh my goodness, that was intense. That was. It's the end of the show now. Mm. Yes. Roll so, the credits. Um, no, I want to thank you so much for being on this show. <laughs> thank you for explaining to us what you do and how important it is to vote. And thank you for the man card. I'm so excited to not listen to that show because I'm not a man. <laughs> there are many ladies that do but listen. But I, <laughs> <laughs> I will, though, tell people who are men to listen to it. And I probably will listen to it anyway. Um, so next week on the show, mm -hmm. guess what we're doing. Mm. You have a couple guests? Something totally different. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, not really totally different. But... Um, I am going to be going to Naked Winery, which is fun. It's not what everyone thinks. People are not naked there. Lies. It's total lies. Fake news. Actually, the pe the person who um, started the um, the business was trying to help out married couples mm -hmm. from getting divorced. I know be that because when I was in like taking a picture with my plaque from the Chamber of Commerce, it was at Naked Winery, which is kind of funny because now I will forever have a picture of like. Do shirtless dudes behind our group. Anyway, mm. it's like, oh, that's lovely. Mm. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to be going there, and we're going to be having some fun. And then Shelly, the general manager, will be our guest. Sweet. And then another mystery guest. Because mm. I don't know who it's going to be. <laughs> It'll be so great, though. Um, I want to thank MCM Studios for having us and thank the city of McMinnville for having us. And thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Yay. Bye. <laughs>